An unusual international line of jewelry is making its debut here in the Twin Cities. The pieces in the Meja Maria collection are inspired by personal and collective journeys made by the immigrants who create the jewelry. Meja Maria's Daniel Sahalo is introducing the line to the Twin Cities. When he was five years old, Daniel and his family walked on foot from northern Ethiopia to Israel to make a better life for themselves. And we're so happy to have Daniel Sahalo joining us now. Uh, Mid morning, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. So you were so young when you left Ethiopia. Do you have any memories of that journey? Uh, I do remember a few things because uh, it was a very different thing. I sure. mean, walking through the Sudanese desert is not something people do every day. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. And my strongest rem uh, memories are from the refugees camp when we waited for another nine months until wow. we actually made it to Israel. And then once you did, you spent how many weeks out in the in the hospital? Uh, Several. Couple, yeah. 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 And that was just from what the the toll had taken on your body, but also when you were living in Ethiopia too. You said that there was a famine happening at the time. At that in the 80s, yeah, yeah, there was a big famine going on, and that was also the time for the Ethiop I mean, the Israeli government uh, rescuing the Ethiopian and they Jews. Were helping out. Exactly. Yeah. And you served in the Israeli Defense Force. I did. I'm yeah. a captain in the arm. I mean, in the Air Force. I mean, paratrooper. <laughs> yeah. So, how did you get involved with jewelry then? Uh, first of all, what makes the whole thing it's uh, the fact it's a, inter a social enterprise, yeah. and uh, the whole business is based on immigrants. Uh, the company called Evel, basically, it's levy backwards, mm -hmm. and uh, their entire business, like I said, is based on immigrants. And today, I'm proud to say that 90 percent of the employees are from 23 different countries. Let's look at some of the jewelry that you brought because this is, I mean, I, it is, I think people really want, when they're going to spend money, they want pieces that have that kind of connection and these have those personal stories, right? Of course. They're, uh, they're also beautiful too. Go ahead. Thank you so much. I mean, just one example, for example, the student who made this piece thought about the birds because when we're in Ethiopia, we're used to ask the birds, how's Jerusalem? Mm -hmm. We even had songs around that. So basically every piece is a, uh, is a student and they were trying to express themselves through their art. Wow. Very Amazing. interesting. Well, you're going to be telling your story at uh, Living Word Church yeah. tomorrow night at 7 p.m. in Brooklyn Park. And then the whole collection, along with photographs that tell the stories of immigration, will be on display at the Sabbath Jewish Community Center through October 28th, so you can go to WCCO.com slash links for more information. You have one more event that's going on this week as well, right? Exactly. Uh, we're going to have a trunk show at Continental Diamonds. Oh, great. <laughs> Love that jewelry oh. store. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then people can get up close and try on stuff. Exactly. And it's not just going to be Midge and Maria line. We're going to have Yvel, the mother company, yeah. who is very famous for the pearls and diamonds. They won the town and country a few times. Okay. That's like the Oscar of the jewelry world. Sure. And they're very impressive. So we would love to so, to see you guys and uh, help us out. So well, it's a great story you. and a great way of helping uh, helping that population out as well. Thank Daniel, you thanks so for much. coming in. We appreciate thank you. It. Thank you. And of course, for we're putting that information me. online too because we know we just threw a lot at you. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Tomorrow on mid morning.